Did you know that one out of every four girls are abused by the age of 18 in the United States? And even boys, one out of every six by the age of 18. And let's be realistic, let's not be naive. Uh, these things are happening right here in our backyard as well, here in Polk County. And, uh, and it's important to know that, that these children that are being abused uh, are, are then being taken care of, not only physically, but mentally and emotionally. Um, and, and one of those groups that are really doing a great job to stand behind these children is the Bikers Against Child Abuse. Here to talk to us today about the organization is Bad Bob and Blade. Gentlemen, thank you so much for coming on. Thank, thank you. you for having us. We appreciate it. Now, you guys, uh, you guys look really rough here. Um, a little bit intimidating, you know, you got the, got the sleeves. But realistically, I mean, you guys are all about keeping these children safe and supporting uh, children that have been abused. Tell us a little bit about how your organization works. Well, uh, we get referrals of children who have been abused, and they come from all different um, avenues. You know, a, a family can call us. Um, you know, uh, an agency, a state agency can call us. Uh, law enforcement can call us and refer children to us. We also have a hotline, which we'll give later, and an email address that you can send uh, information to. We get referrals of children who are going through abuse, have been abused and we will evaluate the case and see if it's something that meets the criteria of BACA. Our role is to remove the fear of child abuse from the child and what they've gone through and help them restore their self-confidence and rebuild their self-esteem. So we work with the child um, and help them get ready for any legal process that they're going through. Um, we give them the hugs that they need and uh, we have found, you know, Baca has been around for close to 20 years. We have found that uh, children love motorcycles. <laughs> we love them, you know, and so it's a, it's a good match. They feel safe around us. Um, uh, you'll find uh, in the biker community, uh, bikers, uh, by and large, love children. You know, you see any of the charity rides out there for children, bikers of all sizes and shape show up to help these children absolutely so it's a great it's a great uh, it's a great fit so we help the children through the process uh, and help restore their face uh, faith and once a baka child always a baka child and now they become part of our family and, and and they feel that safety of being part of our group blade how did you get involved with baka they have a ride um had a ride once a year that left out of orlando that had upwards of 1,500 bikes in it. And I'd met a biker one day that, that had his vest on, and I asked him what it meant. And I thought it was a really good thing. I rode on the ride and been riding with him ever since for close to two years. Now, Bad Bob, we were talking about uh, some of the things that you do uh, within the organization, um, you know, supporting the child through, through the uh, legal process. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, oftentimes uh, when uh, a child is going through the legal process, uh, uh, an abuser is going to court, an alleged abuser is going through court, one of the tactics that a, um, a defense lawyer may use or employ is to subpoena every friend and relative of that abused child as a witness. And witnesses aren't allowed in the courtroom uh, during the trial, during the testimony. So what that does is keeps all of those friends and relatives out in the lobby and isolates that child by themselves sitting in the courtroom. Very intimidating, very mm -hmm. scary for a child that's very, been abused. Very, absolutely. Imagine a four, five, six-year-old child mm -hmm. sitting in a witness stand by themselves looking out into the gallery and on their side of the courtroom it's empty. And the, the, the whole purpose there is to intimidate that child into not testifying because oftentimes if you don't get a testimony of a child, the case gets thrown out. Yeah. So what Baca does is you know, we, we will ride and adopt the child. We will ride into their neighborhood, 20, 30, 40 bikers will show up. We go through a process of welcoming that child into the, into the family. We give them a, a vest, uh, we give them a road name, uh, we put a patch on them. To, to, to let them feel part of a bigger 
organization, a family, uh, give them hugs. Uh, in fact, we pass a bear around, it's kind of fun, and, and everybody in our organization will hug that bear, fill it full of hugs, and give it to that child, and we'll tell them, you know, if you feel lonely, you feel scared, take a hug out of that bear. Mm -hmm. And when that bear is empty of hugs, give us a call. We'll come back. We'll fill it up again. <laughs> but then we help them, again, rebuild their self-confidence in preparation for the court. We will go to them uh, for them uh, with depositions. We will ride with them. Uh, we will go to the courtroom. We will come into the courtroom on their behalf and sit in the courtroom yeah. for them so they can look out into the courtroom and they can just feel the comfort of having their family sitting there with them when their biological family and their friends have to sit out in the lobby right. and not watch the tes testimony. And I'll tell you, when those kids look out at us, you know, and they feel that comfort, you know, 70% of the time, mm -hmm. on a national average, a uh, Baca child will testify, where normally on a national average, it's around 30% of the time a child will testify. Wow. And we're pretty proud so far in uh, the Tri-County chapter, which is Orlando, um, uh, Daytona area, which the Thousand Lake chapter is basically born out of, we've had a hundred percent success where mm. the child will testify. Wow! And and then when those when those uh, when those verdicts come through, uh, you know, as as the child testifies, there's a good chance that um, that the abuser will be brought to justice with those with those uh, testimonies. Right. Yeah, with the testimony, the, the odds are a heck of a lot mm. better that they'll testify. Of course, there's all kinds of factors that right. can sway the outcome uh, of a case, but that child's testimony, you know, is, is, is paramount in it. And, you know, we don't coach the child what to say at all. It's just that, you know, sometimes a child will ask us, what, what do I say when, we, when, when I get on the stand? Answer, two words, the truth, mm -hmm. the yeah. truth. And we don't get beyond that. We just want that child to feel comfortable so they right. can tell the court what happened. Well, I know if I was in court and I had 30 of you guys sitting behind me supporting me, I know I'd feel safe and, and secure and confident and, and knowing that uh, you, guys, you guys have their back. We got their back. Exactly we got right. big arms to hug them with, mm -hmm. and you know, our, 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 the, the women in our chapter as well. We have men and women, and you know, they get a lot, a lot of hugging going on in, yeah. in, 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 in Baca <laughs> for these kids. And, they, they remain Baca family. We run into to, to children that are now 22, 23, 24 years old that were Baca children. They have and, their own kids. And yeah. they have wow. their own kids, and we'll see one of our patches and come running up to us. We've got 170 chapters across the United States. We're in, I believe, 39 states right now is the last count that I had. And uh, we're in nine countries around the world and continuing to grow. Mm. Now, uh, Blake, you were you were talking about you had just uh, recently contacted the sheriff's department here in Polk County and are, yes. are looking to possibly start a uh, a Polk County chapter, not just a tri county, but actually specific to to Polk County. Tell me about right. that. Right, we have actually started now. Officially, last weekend was our first meeting in Polk County, and uh, they have spun us off into a temp charter, so we're on our way with it now. I have spoke to Sheriff Grady Judd. And I have another meeting with him also, so he knows who we are and what we're doing in town, because he's a big advocate Absolutely. against child abuse. Yeah, great. I, you know, it's funny, when I first met Blade, and I said, if you can get in an introduction to Sheriff Grady Judd, I'll buy you dinner, because <laughs> he's been a hero of mine because of his advocacy, in, you know, about, uh, you know, child abuse. And, you know, he works very hard and the whole Polk County works very hard towards this. And this is just one of these areas that we know that there's great awareness. And uh, it takes a while to get a chapter up. We don't just let anyone wear a patch on their back. You have to go through uh, FBI and mm. VEX background checks uh, yeah. to make sure that you don't have any history of child abuse or, or uh, domestic violence. You have to ride with us for a year and uh, you ride with for the year, you, we assign a mentor to you, and we make sure that uh, you're who you say you are and that you have that same passion for helping children because this isn't a volunteer organization where you get on a bike on a sunny afternoon and go riding. Right. This, is, it's a serious this, is, this is a serious business because these children need help, and when they need help, they don't call on a Sunday afternoon when it's sunny. You know, and so you have to be able to go out there and help them. And we need people who are committed, 
and uh, uh, people who r ride motorcycles. We're always looking for good members, but it's, it takes a minimum of a year to qualify to, to get a patch on your back. And uh, once you get a patch on your back, then you have uh, greater access to the children. And we only allow access to the children with two patch members um, uh, at a time. So you don't have single access, and we don't just anyone, let anyone near our children. Right. So, so the initial stages of being a BACA member is uh, you're riding with the team, yep. you're, you're showing your support, um, and you're attending uh, court, uh, court hearings. Right. Court, court hearings. Uh, we have lots of events. We have child events. You know, we'll have uh, fairs and parties and stuff we have for the children. We go by their houses to visit them, to make sure everything's okay. We do the level one rides where we bring them mm -hmm. into our families, BACA families. Uh, you know, at any given time, any given weekend, we got BACA members riding all over uh, Central Florida. We've got uh, three chapters in the state of Florida right now, one up in the Panhandle uh, in Navarre. Uh, we've got one up in Jacksonville, and we've got one in Orlando. Again, the, basically the Orlando chapter has been covering Daytona south to the Keys yeah. uh, for a number of years now, and now we're, we're, we've got the temp chapter here in, uh, in Lakeland with a bunch of committed yeah. BACA members here. We've got, I, I know uh, we've had several different biking groups uh, come on the show and, and participated in, in many different uh, bike rides and things. We have such a terrific uh, group of bikers in Polk County, um, people that care about children, uh, people that are willing to take their time and their investments and, and, and really invest into these children uh, of, of Polk County. And this is so awesome to know that you guys are there behind the scenes. It's not something that, you know, you're not on the news, you're not, you know, you're not on the front page in the newspaper. Right. You're behind the scenes doing this for uh, for these abused children. What a what an awesome thing. Now you said you had a phone number, website, stuff like that, that people can get a hold of you and, uh, and, and become part of BACA. Yep. Well, first of all, let me give you our international website. It's bacaworld.org, B-A-C-A -A world, all run together, dot org. And that'll give you an overview of uh, BACA. It'll show you wherever we have chapters around the country. Um, here in uh, Polk County, the new chapter, um, they have an email address of uh, Baca Thousand Lakes. Uh, again, B A C A T H O U S A N D L A K E S at yahoo.com. You think you could have got that any longer? But, <laughs> but it spells it out. It's pretty clear. Baca Thousand Lakes at yahoo.com. I do have teachers say, involved in as this. As you say, so. yahoo. Yeah. Dot com. <laughs> like a drink. And then we have hotline <laughs> numbers. And you'll see at the bacaworld.org website, each chapter has a hotline that if you have questions or you've got a, a situation, you can call that number. Um, and the one 4,000 Lakes is 863-588-6560. Again, that's 863-588. 6560. And if anybody is interested in attending a meeting, um, uh, meetings are open to the public. Uh, we meet here in, uh, in Lakeland at the American Legion Post 4, and we'd like to put a plug in for them, thank them for supporting us. They're a great organization. Uh, they put on a great breakfast for us uh, last yes, Sunday. Uh, their address is 1375 Ariana Street. Uh, in Lakeland, and uh, our chapter here meets on the fourth Sunday of the mm -hmm. month, and I think it starts at 10 o'clock, isn't that right? Starts at 10 o'clock, and you do have to go to two meetings before you can be vexed in FBI consecutively. Yeah, we, we look for that commitment, so uh, you got to go to two, two meetings, and then we will start, if you're interested, we'll start the paperwork and, and do the background checks, uh, and that starts the, uh, the minimum of a 12-month period to qualify to, to wear a patch. That's great, guys. This is this is terrific. I'm 
when I found out about you guys, uh, I thought, man, what a what an awesome organization. And to know that you're bringing this to Polk County, specifically to Polk County, um, teaming up. I'm sure the sheriff's department is going to team up with you guys. What a what a great what a great network that you have. Yeah, that opportunity he set up to meet Sheriff Grady Judd. <laughs> um, he got to go. Our state president Grumpy got to go, and I got called into a meeting in my in my daytime <laughs> job, and and I missed it. So, so do you still owe him dinner? I still <laughs> owe him dinner. Yes, he but does. I, I, I wasn't sure if it was going to be McDonald's or. <laughs> I quite. I remember steak, steak, but I didn't mean ground up either. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I, I will see Sheriff Judd. I did get an autograph picture uh, of him in his, uh, I guess his his uh, western attire. Yeah, in his western attire. So I'll get to meet him at some point. Uh, they're great. They're great partners in the battle against child abuse, and it's a battle. Yeah. And we can win it. We just need as much support as we can get. There's a lot of agencies out there working really hard for this. You know, BACA, you know, we're, we've got our mission, but there's lots of, you know, the you've got the guardian ad, ad litems out there working on behalf of the children. You've got DCF out there working on behalf of the children. There's a lot of good groups out yep. there that need everybody's support. Bad Bob, Blade, thanks for coming on today, telling us about BACA and the, and the uh, great work you do. and. Uh, chapter you're opening up here in Polk County. Thanks for coming on. Thank, Thank you, you for having us. Appreciate it. Baca, the Bikers Against Child Abuse. Uh, what a terrific, terrific organization uh, coming right here to Polk County. Behind the scenes, bikers working to support children both through the legal process and through the emotional healing of child abuse. Listen, if you, if you want to get in touch with these guys, uh, you want to get involved, it's really simple. Just go to uh, their uh, national website at bacaworld.org or you can email them here at the new Polk County chapter baca thousand lakes at yahoo.com and their phone number is 863-588-6560 they meet at the American Legion post 4 in Lakeland at 1375 Ariana Street every fourth Sunday.